Hey everyone, it's John from CarCraft with a quick tech tip on how to stretch out springs. So today I put the brake pedal return spring back in the C10. This is our 67 C10 we've been working on for a while. I had the pedals out when we changed the drivetrain and there it is right there, brake pedal return spring. As you can see, access in here is limited. It was hard to get in there with tools. I tried to stretch it out, pry it over with screwdrivers and stuff. That didn't work so well. So I used the trick I've done before. I used my engine hoist and I set the scenario up just to demonstrate using a throttle return spring. But basically this is what I did. Stretch the spring out with something heavy. You don't need to use an engine, that's totally overkill. And by the way, if you do use an engine, make sure you're not able to drop stuff down in it. Um, but anyway, I opened the spring up and shoved some nickels in there in between each coil. And that gave me the distance between the, the hooks that I needed to match the eyelets under the dash. And I was able to put it back in pretty easily. Obviously, like I said, you don't need to use an engine. You could shove a piece of bar stock under the legs with a hook on it or something. Just something heavy or something you can pull against to open the spring up. I had to do a similar thing when I replaced the hood hinges. And um, to put the springs back on the hinges, what I did was I used my floor jack, one hook here, one hook here, pump the jack up, and that opened the hood springs up enough. So I was able to stack some washers up in between all these coils. Some washers and some screwdrivers, basically. It wasn't pretty, but it worked and I was able to put the springs back on when I changed the hinges. So none of this is rocket science, but not everyone knows these tricks. So if we can help save some time and frustration, that's what we're after. Have a good day.